Today I'm going to show you guys another really inexpensive and high quality microphone for mobile content creation. What's up everybody? Welcome to Freely Roaming. My name is Dan. I've been testing a bunch of these wireless microphone setups for a little while. I've tried everything from DJI to Rode to Hollyland. And now I'm trying this real popular, newly released Hohem Mic Zero One. This is, I believe, Hohem's first foray into the wireless microphone world. They've been really well known for making gimbals for smartphones and small cameras. And I think what they've done here is actually quite impressive. This is a two-channel USB-C wireless microphone setup. For the price that they're offering for this unit, they're offering a lot of features. In many areas, this is as good as the highest end microphones that you'll find, but in some areas, it comes in a little bit short. If you watch all the way through this video, I'll show you exactly what their shortcomings are and where this excels and see if they matter to you. So first things first, I wanna show you guys what comes included with the setup. Basically, it's everything you see right here. The audio you're hearing is actually from one of these transmitters. I'm wearing it right here. So what it comes with is a charging case, two transmitters, a receiver, either in USB-C or Lightning, two wind muffs, and a USB-C charging cable. It's got a four-facing omnidirectional microphone that can be either clip-mounted or magnetically mounted. It has USB-C or Lightning direct connection from the receiver, so you can plug it into your smartphone or cameras that have compatible USB-C outlets, as well as computers, Windows or Mac. There are three levels of DSP-based noise cancellation. In reality, it's only two levels because one of the levels is no noise cancellation at all. You have the normal strength noise cancellation and then the strong noise cancellation. There are two buttons on the side. You can use those buttons to either enable or disable the noise cancellation, enable an echo feature, one touch mute, or use it as shutter control for your phone, camera, or computer. With the included charging case, it's got a 20 hour battery life with a per charge transmitter life of about seven and a half hours. The transmitter also comes with a 3.5 millimeter jack to attach an external microphone if you wanted to use one. It has a range of 100 meters or 330 feet and operates in the 2.4 gigahertz radio frequency. And for a budget friendly microphone setup like this, it comes with internal recording, but you do have to get your own micro SD card. It has 48 kilohertz sampling rate 16-bit depth recording. The transmitter weighs in at only 15 grams and the receiver has pass-through charging, meaning that when you have it connected to your phone, you can also charge the phone at the same time. The transmitters themselves can be charged either through the charging case or you can charge them directly using USB-C. And the receiver doesn't have any batteries in it. That may be one of its biggest downfalls is that if you want to be able to use a receiver on a DSLR or a mirrorless camera that doesn't provide power through the USB-C. You have to part the receiver separately, but it does have a 3.5 millimeter out jack for you to use it on any camera. And alternatively, if you're using this through USB-C out, you can use that 3.5 millimeter jack as monitoring headphone jack. So something like this is perfect to use with your smartphone. In fact, I think it's ideally used with a smartphone. Personally, I use it with my Osmo Action 4 because the Osmo Action 4 has USB capability. So you can use any USB-C based microphone directly with it. And I would say the next best use for this is to record audio directly into your computer by plugging the receiver into a USB-C jack of your computer. So you've been hearing how this sounds exactly through this microphone that I've been recording. And the setup I'm currently using is I'm recording this through a Osmo Action 4. And as you can see, I have the receiver plugged in directly to the USB-C out. Now, what I'm doing here is actually I'm using a 90 degree angle so that the USB-C plug uh, has enough room because with the case on, or even without the case, this USB-C plug is just a little bit short to be able to plug directly into the Osmo Action 4 itself, but it has no problems plugging into smartphones. So let me give you some more recording samples of how this microphone sounds in a real world scenario. Okay, so this is a uh, normal mode. The gain setting is at five and the camera gain setting is at negative 10. 
So I'm going to set this over here. I'm going to back up. You should still be able to hear me just the same as before. In fact, I see the audio is pretty sensitive. That's pretty good. Back up all the way to the end of the van. So I'm about 40 feet from the microphone now. I'm supposed to go a lot further than this. Now I'm about 50 feet. This has a maximum range of 300 plus feet. So now I'll come back towards the microphone. Again, this is the normal, no noise cancellation setting on a Osmo Action 4. All right, so this is the two channel microphone test for the Hohem Mic 01. And these two mics, these two transmitters, even though they're separate transmitters, so two people can wear it. I'm wearing one. I'm wearing one. And there is one downside for having this two channel setup is that these are actually all mixed together. So there is no stereo mode, meaning that you can't in post separate this channel from that channel. So it's always mixed together into mono and then split up into back into left and right but they're the same audio track for both so even though it's a two microphone setup it is just mono recording only and we're testing this as we're walking to the store to give you an idea about real world setup lots of noise on the street a lot of noise in the street and this is a microphone gain setting is at the highest for the microphone meanwhile on camera in the Osmo Action 4, we have a set at negative 10 gain. So this is standard, no noise cancellation. So if I pause, you should be able to hear some noise around us. I think this is a fruit stand that is right next to us. Yeah. There's some cars driving by. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn on level one noise cancellation. Okay, so now I have noise cancellation turned on. Perhaps you'll hear less, or maybe you won't hear any difference at all. There's a motorcycle coming. A bicycle guy with a motor on it. Okay, so not a motorcycle. <laughs> Motorized bicycle. Yeah, homemade. So I'm going to turn on level two noise cancellation. Okay, so this is stronger noise cancellation as signified by the yellow light. Hopefully you hear less as the car drives by right now. And then go back to the original, no cancellation at all. There you go. Now this is standard mode with no noise cancellation. You should hear everything around us. And then there's a funky little setting they have for this microphone, which gives you some reverb. And that's accomplished by double clicking. Okay, so now we have reverb mode. You can hear that my voice is digitally, artificially echoing. I'm not sure exactly where you would use this mode, but you know, it's kind of a fun little tool if you want to play with it. Okay, back to normal mode again. So there's a uh, real world test of the Hohem Mic 01, two channel USB-C version. All right, so let's talk about price here. You can get a Hohum Mic 01 two-channel version for $109. That's for the USB-C version. For the Lightning version, if you have an older iPhone than iPhone 15, you have to purchase one of those for an additional $10. And the best comparison, I think, for this microphone setup is to compare it with the Hollyland Lark M2, which comes in at $139. So this is $30 less than the Lark M2. And it does have some extra features that the M2 doesn't have. Let me give you some pros and cons of this microphone. For the pros, it is inexpensive. 
at $109, I don't think there's anything out there that comes as close to having this kind of value. The build quality is really good, even though it is mostly plastic, but it does feel like high quality plastic. Hohem is not a new company. They are new to the microphone world, but they've been building consumer electronic products for a number of years. And as you heard earlier, the noise cancellation works really well. I'm not sure it's something that I would personally use on a regular basis because I always prefer to use noise cancellation after the fact in post-production. The internal recording feature is something that the M2 doesn't have from Hollyland. So with that as a secondary capability, makes this an even better value as well as the external microphone jack option. That is something that also the M2 doesn't have. And finally, it is small and it has a battery case that's charged over USB-C. These are all really good features of the Hohem Mic 01. Now let me just talk a little bit about the cons that I find with this setup. Number one, just like the Lark M2, this doesn't have stereo mode, even though it is a two transmitter system, meaning that when you plug it into a camera, your two microphones are going to be mixed into a mono mix and then record onto the file. Both left and the right channel will have the same audio. So that if you wanted to adjust levels from one mic versus the other one, you just can't do that. And secondly, the biggest downfall, I think that it only has 16 bit depth in audio recording. 16 bit is plenty of bit depth for audio recording. However, it is plenty for a final mix. Usually you want to have at least 24 bits of audio recording. And as you guys might know, the biggest thing out there right now is 32 bit float. So this being a 16 bit, it is coming in quite short of what the state of the art audio recording is. And the next thing I found that's kind of interesting is that when you record onto the SD card internally, the SD card records just kind of a random date and time. The timestamp on the files are, are really off. And I think mine is something like January, 31st 2070 I don't know exactly how it came up with that Hohem does have an exe file that you can use to set the date of your transmitter so it doesn't do that but that's for Windows only there is no Mac OS solution for it as of now and that's something that they probably could have fixed if they were able to create a mobile app that you can control using your phone for various different setting changes as well as updating firmware uh, as of right now, that feature just doesn't exist. There's no mobile app. So those are the pros and cons of the Hohem Mic 01. I still think for $109, this is really hard to beat, especially with the features that it has. You can even get a single mic version, a single transmitter version of this for only $59. And that is really, really cheap. I don't know if you can find anything else out there that's at this price range. You can get in this black color or white, USB-C or Lightning. As I said, USB-C is $10 less than the Lightning version. Now I have links to all the different variations down in the description below. And that's it. That is the review of the Hohem Mic 01, their first offering to the wireless microphone world. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.